Welcome back to the Miss Olympia. And Corey, it's nail biting time. We have the top 10 competitors on the stage. We'll list them for you in, in no particular order. Sandy Rydell makes the top 10. There's no surprise there. Yolanda Hughes. Of course, Linda Murray is there. You see Debbie Mugley has made it. Shelly Beatty. Claudia Montemaggi. Diana Dennett. Anya Schreiner. Nikki Fuller. And Laura Crevel. And Joe, here are the six finalists that will be competing in the comparison. Sandy Rydell. Linda Murray, Shelly Beatty, Diana Dennis, Anya Schreiner, and Laura Crevel. Who will be the 13th Ms. Olympia? Well, we need to do some comparisons and some posing down. And we'll do that, but first we want to take you back to the first Ms. Olympia. Remember Rachel McLeish? I do. 1980 marked an important year for women's bodybuilding, for on August 30th in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, the world was introduced to the Ms. Olympia contest, and in turn, the show's first winner, Rachel McLish. Rachel brought to the sport a unique blend of muscle and beauty, style and grace, and a charisma that attracted the everyday woman to the sport of bodybuilding, whether they wanted to look like her or win like her. Rachel set the standard that women strove to attain. Not content to just win bodybuilding contests, Rachel was the first to preach the bodybuilding lifestyle through books and videos and led the fitness craze mainstream as a spokesperson for Holiday Health Spa. Today, Rachel is an accomplished actress in both television and feature film. It is her unique ability to portray women as secure in their strength and beauty that has made Rachel McLish the role model of women worldwide. Oh, bodybuilding has made great strides since the days of Rachel McLeish. And here we have the girls doing relaxed comparisons, and then they'll also be doing muscular comparisons. All six of them side by side on the stage. As they continue the comparisons, we'll take a break, and we'll pick it up with the very exciting pose down. Ms. Olympia competition continues right after this. Cybex. Strength and rehabilitation products. The most effective tools you can buy. Emphasis on quality. Designed to accommodate the widest variety of individuals without compromise in performance, safety, or comfort. Knowing how the human body responds to exercise gives us a decided edge into the understanding of how to build effective training systems. Cybet. Ask for it at your gym today. It takes desire and dedication to break out of the mold of an average body. General Nutrition Centers can help you break the mold. With Weeder's new Mega Mass 2000, more calories per serving make it the biggest weight gainer ever. Scientifically balanced for quality nutritional support during intense workouts. Get the Mega Mass training video worth $24.95 free. GNC, the authority in sports nutrition products. Welcome back to the Ms. Olympia competition. Joe Fowler and Corey Everson. Corey, I admit it, this is my favorite part of any bodybuilding competition. It's the pose down. There goes Laura Cavell. She's going to sneak in there right next to, why not, Linda yes, Murray. Linda Murray. You know what? This is always my favorite part, too, because it's so much fun. Beth <laughs> Francis and Diana Dennis and I, we used to always have all these little games on stage. It's just so playful. Who's being the most playful here? Um, actually, none of them are really being too creative. Uh, Anya Schreiner is up on the front over there, walking around, cruising around on, on her own. Um, the other girls are basically comparing with each other. I never did that. I al always ran away and let the people and chase they me. And they chased, of course yes. they did. So there's Anya. She's going to yeah. chase over to Linda Murray. That's great. <laughs> That's great. And you know what? This is mostly just for fun and for personality and, and to get the audience going. Although it is judged, if, if the contest is really close, this is really where um, they'll do the comparisons and, and make their final decision. Sandy Rydell has kind of held her own on the left side there, not moving much. No. Diana Dennis, oh, just as gorgeous as ever, yes. hanging in there. Yes, I'm, I'm sort of surprised Diana Dennis isn't cruising around back and forth on stage and taking control. Anya Schreiner is basically doing that. As you see, everybody else is doing the same pose. Anya Schreiner is always doing something different to stand out, and that's an excellent philosophy. I hope you're keeping track at home. Who do you like? 
We'll find out who Corey likes. I have my picks. Certainly she has to be one of the favorites, our defending champion. It's tough to beat the champ. Somebody might tonight. We're going to find out. When we come back, we will crown our new Ms. Olympia. Stay with us, folks. You won't want to miss it. Back right after this. Welcome back. Strap on the seatbelt. Here we go. Who better than Corey Everson to make a prediction on the new Mizzou? You know what? I'm nervous sitting here watching this. Um, I have to say Linda Murray. I'm, I think she can win for the next 10 years, and I'm going to stick with that decision. Wow. How, well, How's that for a decision? <laughs> I, I think you uh, have been definitive. I like Anya Schreiner and Laura Crevel, yeah, and of course Linda Murray. You believe this? Anya's gone. Oh, my goodness. She's the first to go. Well, uh, that is a surprise that she got sick. For so many years, she was the definition of femininity in bodybuilding. And we're thinking that's where it's headed, but she's gone. Well, she still is the definition Absolutely. of femininity in bodybuilding. And she's six in the Mizzo. That isn't too shabby. Next up. Will be number five. Diana Dennis. Listen to the audience booing. Wow. I would boo, but I'm supposed to be impartial. 41 years old, beautiful lady. She finishes fifth and she's painting that smile on. Yep. Good sport. I mean, that's happened to her before where she's been underscored. Oh, they love her. They love her. Excellent. From the heart, Diana. So do the competitors, by the way. And those competitors remain Sandy Rydell, Linda Murray, Shelly Beatty, and Laura Crevel. There are four left, folks. And they remain very nervous standing there waiting to find out who it is. To be sure. You still like Linda? Yeah. You like Laura Crevel? Yes. Yeah. All right, we're about to announce number four. Sandy Rydell. Sandy Rydell. Huh. Always seems to finish fourth or third. Unless it's competing against me. <laughs> I don't know. I still think Anya Schreiner should have gotten higher. Sandy Rydell will finish fourth in the 1992 Mizzou. Flex the muscle. Give away. Enjoy Smile. the applause and get ready to eat again. We're down to Linda Murray, Shelley Beatty, and Laura Cravel. Oh, this is the hardest time standing there waiting. You're mm -hmm. And you just want the announcement. Shut Here we up go. and. Shelley Beatty. Wow. Beatty is third. Okay. Well, it's down to two of the people that we thought it would be down to. She is such a sweet lady. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. So deserved. Yeah. Worked so hard. She's so <laughs> cute. <laughs> She's so sweet. She's excellent. Great personality. But you know what? Those things are like cowbells. They weigh a ton. <laughs> Here we go. For the 1992 Miss Olympia title. <laughs> Oh, you have Linda Murray and Laura Crevel. Both of them could deserve it. Crevel has worked so long to try to knock Murray off. And it goes to second place. The Lisa Crevel. Wow. Laura Crevel finishes second. Wow. Holds the pose and Linda Murray, our two-time Ms. Olympia champion, is now our three-time champion. You know what? It could have gone either way and both of them would be deserving. It was very close. If we were to have the privilege of sneaking a peek at the scores, I'll bet you you're right. It could have gone either way. Linda Murray, 30 years old from Detroit, Michigan. <laughs> she's starting to form her own little dynasty. Yes, she is. 
And really, Corey, she presented the whole package. The femininity, the muscularity, the yeah. posing prowess, the creativity. Yeah. And, <laughs> and she does. She's got a good personality, and she's not afraid to show it on stage. And that's part of it, too, is the whole acting, presentation, entertainment end of it. It's time to let your hair down, Linda. And as she receives her goodies from the weeders, we will take a break. Oh, she's going to be weighted down there, Corey. We'll take a break and come back with our final thoughts that's right why, after this. That's why she has a strong neck. two fantastic ways to help you work out. I'm Rich Gisberry. Before I work out, I go to General Nutrition and get Weeder's new Flexfire nutritional booster that helps my tough workout. Then I take Mega Mass 2000 to help pack on mass fast. Over 2,000 calories per serving makes it the biggest weight gainer ever. Right, guys? Right. right. GNC, the authority in sports nutrition products. Welcome back to the Eric Crown Theater in Chicago, Illinois, and they start to filter out of this beautiful auditorium and theater. You know, Corey, all the talk about redefining the judges, all the talk about a new approach, bottom line, same champion. What do you make of it? Well, obviously, she's got what, mm -hmm. what they're looking for. She's got everything, and, you know, they talk about redefining everything, and it wasn't geared towards Linda Murray. Right. She's always had the total package with the symmetry, the, the class, the presentation, the charisma, everything, and everybody else is sort of catching up to her, and now there's a lot of good girls on stage. But is the third time really the charm? I mean, after three, after four, after five, it's got to be called just extremely difficult. You want total honesty on this one? Yes, six-timer. <laughs> okay. Give me the honest scoop. After the second time, the first and second time, they're gunning for you. They really want you to win. After the second Miss Olympia, especially after the third one, people start gunning against you, and they want the underdog to win. And um, the media starts getting tougher. They start expecting more. You can't just be the best you can be. You've got to be better because you are the champion. I have to ask you one question when you're talking about your experience in it because we're wrapping it up, and they want to know. You could step back on that stage if you wanted to. Oh, no. Come on, Corey. Any indication of the possibility there's next year? If you do couples with me. No. <laughs> no I will consider the idea. No, no, no. On that very political note, she wouldn't commit. I tried. We say goodbye. Joe Fowler and six-time champ Corey Everson, thank you for watching. We'll see you on our next big bodybuilding show on ESPN. Good night, everybody. Good night. I didn't say I wouldn't be there. I didn't say you would. <laughs>